Hello everybody, Happy New Year. I'm making this video because I've been asked a couple of different questions. One, how is Ariel doing? Great. She's going through a shed. But two, how do leopard gecko's eyes normally get damaged? And there are the few exceptions of they injure their eye, they scratch their eye, another prey hurts their eye or something in, in the enclosure scratches their eye. That's extremely rare. It's 99% of the time, it's due to problems shedding. Number one, because there's no humid hide. But number two, even if there is a humid hide, sometimes they can have trouble with stuck shed, getting in their eye, getting pushed in a pocket and becoming goop. And the reason I'm making this video, so Ariel is shedding. You can see she's extremely white and we're gonna help her with the shed. But I want to show you guys, so she has a humid hide. She was in it, she knows what to do. She knows she's shedding, she's in here, the hide is wet. Um, but I wanna show you guys a couple things and this is what's gonna be really important. Let me pull her close real quick. So on this eye, which is her right eye. You can see the shed is completely covering the eye. That's fine, that's normal. On what's her left eye, we'll see where the trouble begins. So the left side of her face, she was starting to shed it. Look at that piece of shed that is going into her eye and hopefully it'll pick it up. It is right there in the top right of her eye you can just see it right there. It's a little bit whiter than the black of the eye. That is ready to just whoop. Like when she cleans herself, that piece would break off and that would get tucked in the corner. That's extremely common to happen with leopard geckos. And you want to look out for that. That's why you always want to check your reptile after a shed to make sure the shed went correctly. Because little bits, even if it's a healthy leopard gecko or a healthy chameleon or anything, a little piece can get broken off, get stuck, and, and that's all it takes. That's all that it takes. So let's get a little bit of moisture on this Q-tip here from the this uh, humid hide. And we're going to see if we can roll that out, okay? First I'm going to touch her just so she knows I'm here. Okay, she's kind of checking me out. That's fine. Hi. Stay in frame. That'd be great. And your other eye, too. Okay. Hi. Let's see if we can get this on camera here. Hi, big girl. Now, she is she is completely ready to shed. Um, it looks like it, she's wearing a, a plastic bag. So, normally, you want your animals to shed all on their own. But every once in a while, they may need some help, even if they're a perfectly in shape reptile. Okay, I wanna get this on camera, so I'm gonna to wanna to turn this camera a little bit like this and bring her up, perfect. Let's see if I can get that shut out. Okay, so the part that's in her eye is already hardened a little bit because it made contact with her actual eye, but, okay. It's off her eyeball, and now it's on top of her eyelid. I'm going to just keep rolling it up. You can see it a lot better right there. Nice. I'm going to try to zoom in on this spot. Really give you guys a view. So look at her upper eyelid. That is the part where the shed was going up into the eye and it's kind of a little dry so we're going to kind of go forward it it's ready to come off but what had happened is it went into the eye touched the eyeball and the moisture there and it's kind of just stuck on the eyelid so we're going to just gently boom there it is it's gone manipulate it off and this piece here, look how long it is. That's what was connected to inside her eyeball. So that would have just ripped off and stayed inside the eyelid 
touching the eyeball, maybe get pushed to the back or underneath the bottom eyelid or the top, and then just build up more and more and more and more over time. Uh, I'm going to just open her eye a little bit to check. Check the bottom. Cool. Come in frame a little bit. Your eye is just out of frame. There we go. Come here. Let's just check it out. Cool. So that, that, that one all looks great. Now I'm going to go to the other eye, kind of prevent this. And that's really all I plan on helping her shed. It's kind of the face area. Um, but we'll see. So this, let's zoom out, move the camera, see if we can just get a hold of this and kind of just peel it up. Right there. Come on. Okay, very nice. Roll under. So I have the Q-tip underneath the stuck shed and just going to go over the eye here very gently. There it is, just to clean the eye up. Very nice. And if you look, I'll show you in just a second. I just want to check the eye to be clean. I'll show you how it was going to be a problem over here too. Okay. Okay, her eye's clean. Let's hope the camera can pick this up. Yeah, it kind of. It kind of can. I don't know how well you can really tell what's going on here, but you can tell that this was going to be a big problem. So, right here, below the Q-tip, it is slightly yellow. Um, you can definitely see it a little bit on the camera. You can see that yellow tint, but you can see it really good um, in person here. And that part had touched the eyeball and had absorbed moisture from the eyeball and was just turning into goop, essentially, that again would have gotten tucked and pushed in. Now, that's all we're going to help her with. We're going to just make sure that her humid hide is wet, which it is, and we're going to just put her in. Normally, a healthy leopard gecko, you don't even need to do this because their eyeballs will be out in the front and you don't have to worry about that. If you've always had a humid hide, then you're good and, and everything is fine. Because her eyes are tucked back, I always have to look at her eyes when she does a full body shed. To make sure they're clean. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, but you always check your, your reptiles after a shed anyways. To make sure they don't have any on their feet or anything. So the last thing I'm going to do before I put her back. Is I just have those eye drops. Those reptile eye drops. Get it on the end of this clean Q-tip. And I'm just going to moisturize inside both eyes. Especially because that skin was there. And it had picked up any of the. Some of the moisture that normally is in there with the eyeball. So there we go. That one's nice and good helping in there. Redab the Q tip. Come to her other eye. And it's moisturized in there. And I'm just going to wet the outsides a little bit. That's it. Set. Done. She's perfect. Looks like she's got a little bonnet on. Uh, she's shedding fine. Her her humid hide, this paper towel is very wet, so she's ready to go back in. So I just, uh, this was a perfect timing because I had been asked by three different people, how does their eyes get damaged? What went wrong? How do we fix it? Well, fixing it during a shed I did, and I did another video of cleaning the actual eye, but you would just clean the eyes. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay smiling like Ariel always does. Take care, everybody.